Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Ndema Zegadlov. I'm originally from Cameroon and I live in South Africa. I hold a degree in agricultural economics and agribusiness, masters in international business and finance, and the CEO of Golov Group BTI Ltd. And also, I'm happily married to the love of my life. That's enough intro about me, right? Let me tell you a little bit about my early years of forex trading or my early years of business. Uh, my parents are both uh, business people and as I grew up, they, I was introduced into business as young as I was six years old. At that time, I was already calculating the profit and loss in our simple convenience store or our grocery store. As I grew up, I got into university and since my, my, my things became actually tough, things were actually tough. And since my kid brother, my kid brother was actually very sick at that time. My family suggested that the only way for them to be able to have enough funds to take care of my late kid's brother, Hospital B, was for me to drop out of the university. So that day, it was a tough decision for me to make, but the decision I made was that I was going to be able to not only take care of myself in university, I was going to be able to also support my family. So to, to achieve this ultimate goal, I borrowed money from my friends. I think it was around three or four of my high school friends. I'm too indebted to them. I'm indebted to them to today. So I borrowed money from about three of my high school friends. I bought a three-in-one printer. Uh, with this printer, I started doing documentation right in my bedroom. I was doing typing and printing, and I was also photocopying projects for, for my faculty, and I was also doing projects for my friends. Fast forward, two years after that, I was able to move the business from my bedroom to a cyber cafe, which had almost about 10 computers. Four years after that, I was able to have, I was already having two branches of, uh, of the cyber cafes with each having about 10 computers. Immediately I graduated uh, from the university, I discovered that with the advent or with the introduction of smartphones, uh, the, 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 the world in general was moving from paperwork to digital. So I decided that, okay, it was time for me to sell the cyber cafe and move to a different business. So I sold both cyber cafes for, uh, for about uh, 3.5 million francs, which is about $7,000. About $7, and originally I borrowed about $150 from my friends to start the whole business. Yeah, guys, so let me tell you guys about um, uh, how I got into forex trading or how I discovered forex trading. Remember, remember I told you guys uh, back in 2015, 2016, 2017, I had uh, cyber cafes and since I had the luxury Internet at that time was a luxury. Since I had the luxury of having internet 24 on 7, I was looking for ways in which I could make extra income online. I was looking for a way I could substitute uh, my hustle back in the university with an extra income online. After doing a lot of research, I tried a lot of activities online like freelancing, uh, transcribing, translation, uh, Fiverr, Upwork, uh, I'm a, a mega typist, just to name a few. I tried a lot of things online, and there was this day I was browsing on the internet, and an ad popped up. When that ad uh, popped up, I clicked on that app, and the ad was actually talking about forex. I was so curious, and I was so in curious and intrigued at the same time. I had to do a lot of research. I had to do research about forex, and I decided to open my first. A trading account my first live trading account and unfortunately i opened an account with iq options opening an account with iq options i thought i was trading forex of which iq options deals with binary options i was using the same strategies i read on maybe somewhere on google or somewhere on youtube 
uh, on binary option and I blew all my money. I blew all my savings, including my house ring. This, uh, this didn't cause me to give up. I keep on researching and I believe that they, I believed on the potentials which Forex could actually uh, give me. So because of that, they say, remember why you started. I remember the reason why, or why I was motivated to learn how to trade Forex. So I went on Instagram groups, I went on Facebook, I went on WhatsApp groups, and I started looking for signals, signals and uh, analysis and stuff like that. And there was this day, uh, there was a guy, I think that guy was from UK. The guy gave a signal and he said, buy, uh, buy GDP USD, stop loss uh, 1.34 and take profit 1.6 this. I was so confused. I've never heard of, there was, uh, by that time, I've never heard of stop loss and I've never heard of take profit. So immediately I took that signal. I took the signal back to IK option and I was looking for a way to put uh, stop loss and I was looking for a way to put uh, take profit. I was so frustrated and after spending for almost half a day trying to do that, I went back to the group. I was like, guys, you guys gave this signal back. I don't know how to place, I don't know how to to, to, to place the trade or to utilize the signal. So they asked, which broker are you using or which currency pair are you currently uh, trading? I said, guys, I'm using uh, IQ option. Before the guy explained to me that I was actually trading binary options, not Forex. <laughs> The main difference between binary option and forex is that with binary options you have a determined expiry uh, you have a determined expiry time for your trade and you also have a percentage of profit you can gain if the trade goes your way and if the trade goes against you you have the potential of blowing up your whole, your entire account in a matter of minutes because you, yeah you have the the potential of blowing out your entire account in in a matter of minutes but with forex there is no expiry time and they said the, the potential for you to make profit in forex are unlimited so my big advice is that if you are starting always start with forex trade in short don't even try to go into binary option because binary option binary option for a beginner is more like gambling binary option is more like gambling for a beginner than trading so uh, after this uh after discovering that all this time i've been trading binary options i went on google i went on facebook i went on youtube i read every book i could read on forex i follow every webinar i could follow on on forex and by the end of 2017 by the time i was graduating from the university i immediately uh, uh, sold my two cyber cafes as i told you guys earlier when i saw those two cyber cafes at this point in time this was when uh, the strike or the war in western uh, part in the western part of cameroon was just starting so when i saw this uh, cyber cafe and i was having about 3.5 million which is about seven thousand uh, dollars i immediately moved from boya i immediately moved from my present town to another town where in that town i was able to pay a uk-based internationally recognized forex uh, institute called apari from uh, apari institute of forex trading when I paid them, uh, I was actually paying $199, that's $200 every month. And I paid them straight, 18, straight for 18 months. So I was paying them $200 for 18 months. And after that 18 months, I was certified as a Forex trader. This is the juicy part, right? This is the juicy part. But due to my exceptional results, because they had a lot of training and a lot of uh, quiz which uh, other students were taking, and due to my exceptional results and the fact that I could prove to them that I actually, uh, I actually was talented with the skill and I could trade with the live account, I was funded with a seventy thousand dollar trading account. When I was funded uh, with a seventy thousand dollar trading account, the conditions were. Whatsoever profit I make from the account, I was going to keep 40% while the company keeps 
60 uh, percent there were a lot of uh, risk mitigation involved and this risk mitigation involves was able to prevent the company from from to be, was able to prevent me from blowing the entire seventy thousand dollar account but i was already by the, at this point in time i was already experienced and with my experience i was able i was able to make i, I was making about uh, between two thousand five hundred to five thousand dollars every month as my own share so at the end of the month when i'm able to uh, calculate the profit which i've made from that trading account my own personal share was between two thousand five hundred dollars to uh, to five thousand dollars i traded with a company for uh, I traded with the company for about, I think for about eight months, for, for about eight months. And after that, I decided that, that I, I, didn't want, I didn't want to be held accountable if any trade goes against me. Because you know, when you're trading for a firm or for a hedge fund, you, are, you, you have a lot of questions to answer if a trade goes against you. So by this time, by this time, I was already working with the company for about eight months. And within this eight month time frame, that I was working with a firm and with profits of about $2,500 to $5,000 which I was making every month, I was able to fund my own personal two life accounts with uh, XM and with I uh, IC Market. Each with, uh, I think XM was around $5,000 and IC Market was around $8,000. So after funding my two personal accounts with S uh, XM and with IC Market, I decided that okay it was time for me to quit working with this firm and to trade on my own because the best the best advice is to for you to always trade on your own trading sometimes has to do with psychology and when you trade with someone it's like somebody is trying to control your psychology that's why they say trading in a zone you have to be in that zone and it is very advisable that when you start with trading they say risk what you can afford to lose so at this point in time i was already having my two funded accounts and i was also having a savings so i decided that okay it was time for me to quit working with this firm so uh i i invested since uh typing and printing or documentation work was what survived me back in the university i invested part of the money uh, in opening a big graphic center in the big graphic center we could print t-shirts bring uh, do a lot of graphic designs after opening the graphic center i bought my first car when i bought my first car i quit trading with the firm after buying my my, my first car i decided that okay it was time for me to scale my business and i couldn't i couldn't achieve that goal in cameroon because in cameroon i was having a lot of constraints uh, when it comes to me scaling my business because it didn't have the enabling environment. The enabling environment could not enable me to achieve that goal. The banking system was slow. Uh, it was very difficult for me to deposit and withdraw funds from my account. So because of this, I had to move from Cameroon to South Africa. So five months, uh, five months after I moved to South Africa, uh, uh, remember I moved to South Africa with already my two funded accounts. I was already having a five thousand dollar funded account with XM, and I was already having an eight thousand, I think eight thousand dollar funded account with IC Market. So when I got to South Africa, I think six, I think that was uh, I got to South Africa in 2019, and five months after that, I was able to flip those accounts to about uh, I think one was about twenty thousand, and one was about twenty two thousand dollars. So I was able to flip those two accounts. And immediately I flipped those two accounts to about 20,000 and 25,000 respectively. I bought my second car and my dream car, which was the Wrangler Jeep. After that, I've been able, after that, I've been able to pick to purchase a couple of other cars. But I remember back then when I used to move from faculty to faculty with my bicycle, selling her out. And I also remember when uh, I used to trek, I used to trek for almost 40 minutes to school every day to sell her out. So you see, the moral of the story, the moral of the story is for you to dream big, but start small. So always dream big, but start small. So about my love life, uh, I have a very simple and straightforward love life because when I was when I was growing up, I used to be a nerd, right? I used to be a nerd. Everything I knew was study, 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 then business, business, business. That's why I was all, I, I, most of the time I used to always be the top in my class and even in my high school I think I produced results which up to today the same high school has never produced results of that standard. And my dad was ready to do everything within his, uh, within his power 
to send me to any school which I wanted to go. But my main prayer, after beside all these studies, beside uh, the business and everything, my main prayer was that God should send somebody into my life. God should send a woman into my life who will be able to understand my goals, understand my dreams, and together we shall grow the vision. You understand? I mean, together we shall grow my own vision and grow my wife's vision. That was always my prayer. And when I met, when when I when I when I went to South, when I got in South Africa, that was I think early 2019. I met my wife. When I met my wife, immediately, immediately, I knew this was my prayer being answered. Okay. When I met my wife, immediately, from every fiber of my being, from every fiber of my being, I knew this was the right person. Because all the time I've been praying, it didn't matter where the person, it didn't matter the race or the ethnicity of the person. My prayer was just that God should send me someone who understand my values, understand my goals and aspirations, and together we shall grow as one. So when I got there, my prayer was answered. I met my wife, and two years, two, two years, two years now, we're happily married. We've traveled uh, to many countries. Like we've traveled to a lot of countries. We've gone to Cameroon. We met my parents. They were so happy to see her. They gave, they gave her their blessings. And not only that, she is also a CEO. I personally taught my wife how to trade Forex and she is a professional Forex trader herself. Not only teaching her how to trade Forex, she is my partner, she is my best friend. We work together. She is also a CEO. We have also planned Together with my wife, we've also planned and launched a lot of businesses. For example, we've launched uh, a couple of businesses like G and C Hair Studio, which is G stands for Golov and my and C stands for Cassandra, which is my wife's name. G and C uh, Hair Studio, which is one of the biggest luxury hair studios in South Africa. So you see, and she is the CEO. She is the CEO of that company. She is the CEO of that hair studio. So you see. We are CEO copyright and the CEO and founder of Golub Group, which encompasses other company. Why she is the CEO of uh, G and C Hair Studio, Power Copyright. <laughs> okay, so that's the short, just the short story I can say about my love life. She's always been there. We've worked like a couple, and that's that's one of my highest appreciations that I give in life every day because I found someone who who could understand my value, somebody who could understand each other and who could work as a team. of Golov Group PTY LTD. Just the fact that you hear of group. Group doesn't just stand there for 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 just just for the name. It means something. It means it's a conglomerate. And as a conglomerate, it means that we invested, we have a lot of investment in different fees of uh, of entrepreneurship. We, we have a lot of investment in different industries. For example, in the fee of transportation, uh, under Golov Group PTY we have uh, Golov Shortest, which is a shuttle company, a taxi company uh, based in Cameroon. Uh, under the beauty and fashion industry, we have a G&C hair studio. We also have uh, a marketing agency. We also have a web, de a web development, a web development agency. We're into real estate, just to name a few. So Golov Group uh, PTY has a lot of investment in almost, in many, let me not say almost, but in many uh, uh, in many emerging industries. Like I always say, the, the sky is not even the limit, but it's just the beginning for Golov Group. Because we have a lot of plans to penetrate globally as far as we can go. So now, so now the big question is, what will I be talking about in my channel? Because it's good you have an idea on what to get when you come to my channel. It's good you have an idea on what you get once you hit that subscribe button. So it's very simple and straightforward. On my channel, we shall be talking about trading, money, business, and travel. Okay? We shall talk about trading, we shall talk about money, and we shall talk about business and travel. Under the trading series, I shall share with you guys live on camera how I'm able to make 
how I'm able to make millions. Okay, I shall share with you guys live on camera how I'm able to make millions on the forex market. I shall share my winners. I shall share my losers. I shall share with you guys how I place the trade, how I manage the trade, the execution, and everything on camera. And remember. The time where I used to trade on the demo has already passed. So today, if I'm showing you guys in a screenshot or in a video or any other thing, it means I'm showing you guys from a live account. Okay? So I shall share all those tips with you. Tips and secrets on how to make money trading Forex. I'm also involved in crypto trading and I'm also involved in uh, stock, the stock market trading. But on this channel, preliminary we shall we shall focus on forex trading and if you follow me to the end trust me by the end of my by the end of the series that i'm going to have on that, uh, forex trading you have a lot of knowledge to be able to trade and make money from forex trading on your own so hit the smash button and follow me to the end and you'll be able to understand how to actually uh, make money from the forex market okay on the money aspect of my channel we shall talk everything money okay yeah because i think uh one one something that people don't know is that there's nothing bad in somebody talking about money they say if you want more money talk more about money learn more about money and you earn more money okay so don't be scared to talk about money so on my channel we shall talk everything money we shall also feature short documentaries about money and interviews about the people who have actually succeeded in the field of entrepreneurship. We shall also feature my colleagues who have also succeeded in the field of entrepreneurship and they're making money. Okay, so we shall share money making tips both online and offline. Okay, and remember, you're going to be talking one on one with somebody who, who has had experience, who has had more than 10 years' experience in business. So you'll be talking one on one with somebody who has launch with me you're talking one-on-one -on -one with me who have, who have been able to launch uh, and manage more than 10 different businesses some of them were failures and some of them were winners uh, just like i said previously in life there's nothing like failure it's either i win or i learn so anytime i open any business i've opened a lot of businesses which some of them were failures i actually closed down some of them but some of those businesses which i actually closed down that was a learning curve for me so i was happy i was just as happy for those losers as i was happy for my other companies that did so well because i learned a lot of lessons from those failures okay that's why i said in life there is nothing like failure it's either you win or you learn you learn lessons that you learn from those failures will be more than lessons that you can learn from 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 winning okay so that's that about uh, money aspect on business we shall talk everything business everything business like how to launch a company how to manage your inventory how to manage your human resource how to recruit how to start online businesses how to launch businesses offline and stuff like that so we shall have a lot to talk about business and you'll be still be talking with an owner of a group you still be talking with me who is owning different companies and have been able to manage all these companies and make millions from nearly all of these companies on the travel aspect uh, my wife and i we've had the privilege or we ha we've had the opportunity to travel to to many countries we've traveled to many countries egypt ethiopia south africa Finland. so we've traveled to a lot of countries and anytime we travel to these countries i discovered that these countries have different taxes they have different they, they are different jurisdictions they have different legislations and the the business environment in these countries are totally different from country to country and taking something like forex trading uh trading forex in this country some of these countries is totally different from another country take for example usa trading forex in usa most companies, the highest leverage that they can give you is 1 is to 50. But if you go to UK, South Africa or other EU countries, they can give you leverage of up to 1 is to 500 or even 1 is to 1000, which is a great advantage for forex trader. So you see, because of all this imbalance, when you go from geographical location to the other, we'll be able to cover all of that on my channel and also tell you guys on how you can make money where you are. because. Trust me, we've traveled a lot and we've learned a lesson. We've learned so much lesson 
uh, throughout that journey and also on my channel throughout uh, through vlogs through uh, through vlogs we're still going to be able to share with you guys our experiences because maybe you've not been let's just take egypt for example maybe you've not been to the red sea maybe you've not been to the great pyramid of giza maybe you've not been to the pharaoh's palace or stuff like that but because we've had the opportunity to be there we're still going to be able to share the experience with you guys through uh vlogs because trust me guys traveling is education which you can never learn in school traveling is so much important in a way that i can i can sacrifice some of my business ventures just to travel and gain that aspect of education just like i used to say the universe itself is like a book and he who does not travel read just a page so if you have the opportunity to travel you travel you have to travel to learn a lot traveling doesn't mean you have to move from country to country you can start even where you are you can start exploring right where you are right from your village right from your town because i believe there are places in your country in your village that you don't even know tourists will come to your country tourists will come to your village and they will discover they will, they will be able to to exploit some of the places in your village or your town or your country which you don't even know that's why they say charity begins at home start the traveling journey wherever you are okay <music>